Hey, yo, one, two, mate, check. My name's Gravity. Right about now, you're locked into Jaffa Party. 2000 and fuck off. What's up, guys? This is Jaffa Party. And first off, I want to apologize for the lack of videos that I've been not making recently. Um, been focusing on this music promotion channel I've been working on called Chaos Promotions. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link or something on the screen now. Um, but basically, this video, I just want to showcase a lot of the new CSGO stuff. Um, there was an update yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't even know. But um, there's loads of new knives, like skins. There's the Law, the Anti something, Black Laminate, Brightwater, um, I forgot what that is, and uh, the Gamma Doppler. And there's a new Gamma case out, which includes the M4A1S Mecha Industries, the Glock 18 Westland Rebel, the return of the Westland Rebel, which was the AK before, the P2K Imperial Dragon by the Honey Badger, who's a good friend of mine, uh, the Scar 20 Bloodspot, that's a sick freaking auto sniper with a ninja, shout out to Sparkles, I bet he'll like this with a freaking cat face and ninjas and stuff, looks pretty cool. Um, M4A4 Desolate Space, looks pretty sick. These like high tier weapons with the really good artwork. That AWP is really nice, I think. It's got sweet indentations. Again, it looks like Half Life for me. You remember like Half Life 2? Like, I don't know. So it gives vibes about Half Life, about these skins, but I'm not sure why. And again, the R8 Revolver reboot. And I hope the R8 Revolver actually gets a reboot in damage or something, because right now it's kind of worthless and pathetic and pointless. Um, moving on, we have the Org Aristocrat, which looks pretty fancy. The Sword Limelight... Sword? Sword? <laughs> That'd be cool if there was a sword. Sword Off, sorry. Limelight. The P90 Chopper looks pretty sweet with the fancy flames. That, like, gradient looks f sweet, blue and orange. 5-7, Violent Damio with the Evil Damio, I guess. I wonder if that's made by the same person. I'll have to ask him. I'm not actually sure. Um, looks nice regardless. Uh, P250, Ironclad. Again, pretty basic skin. Another Exo, light purple stripes on it. Looks fancy. PP Bison Harvester, just like generic. It looks like a vanilla PP Bison, if I'm honest. Mac 10 Carnivore, looks red. Mac 10, I mean, Tech 9 Ice Cap, the blue and white looks fancy, I quite like that. And the SG Aerial, along with a lot of new knife finishes. So there's the knife finish law, which is fucking beautiful. Have you seen that? It's like the dragon law, but a knife. I, I'd really want this, but it's hella expensive, I'm guessing. Next is the black laminate lamp, uh, knife finish, the autotronic knife finish, brightwater knife finish, freehand knife finish, and the gamma doppler knife finish. Which should be pretty sweet, um, the green Doppler. They've got like ruby and sapphire already, red and blue. So with the full green, I think it should turn out pretty well. Um, so along with all the skins from the Gamma update, there has also been um, a bunch of apparent XP boosts using um, through the recruit and private ranks. And you no longer have to get to rank 3 in order to play matchmaking on the rank 2, which is strange. Not sure why they just went down one level. Um, they changed a lot of the sounds, and Negev M249 and the Mag7 have changed sounds. Also, the smoke grenades have been reworked so they can um, be heard separately. They also make like a quite loud hissing noise, like a smoke noise. So it looks pretty fancy. Um, Prime account matchmaking, it's in beta now, so it actually works. Like if you go and find a game and competitive, it says at the bottom, Prime matchmaking exclusively. Search for Prime matchmaking matches, or prioritize prime matches but allow non-prime which is totally pointless I guess um, so that's that um, after this video or directly after this I'm gonna just go straight into a competitive um, there's also been some honorable mentions for the skins that I may have featured I think I've in featured this skin because it looks a bit like R2D2 it looks pretty sweet um, also I missed before um, these CSGO skins pins sorry so tired right now um, They've also become tradable and buyable, so like the Series 1 pins, because I'm guessing they're releasing Series 2 over the next like ESL and Dreamhack tournaments, um, they'll be releasing the, C the Series 2 pins. I'm not sure what they'll add, maybe different, because these are all for maps, aren't they? Like the map pins and the like Guardian pin and 
tactics pin and all that good stuff. So I wonder what they'll add. Um, it's all through this Wheel of Fine website, which do all the, like, uh, what do you call it? Like merchandising. Also like shirts and glasses and loads of other price stuff, if I'm honest. But <laughs> but they seem pretty cool. Um, people actually make money using them. Um, Honey Badger included, I think. Like Some of the skin creators end up talking to we love fine and they end up making some of their designs as t-shirts or otherwise that people can buy which makes them a bit of money and steam as well but hey oh, that's their business it is capitalism anyway gonna go straight into a competitive um if you want to watch the competitive you're more than welcome it'll be quite a while um i might just edit this into a different video so if you want to watch the competitive i will cut this now and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys, thanks for watching, bye.